I think we need to find a way to compensate artists in a different way. And I know that I've just been writing down what the pluses are of the internet for, for artists. And I'm going better research, uh, more inspiration, faster distribution, free access, and we can make money from spin-off activities like playing live. And I know for, as a creator, I make more money out of playing live than I do out of, out of distributing what would we would call my copyright now. The minuses, how do artists get compensated? We have to talk about this. Um, I don't know what the answers are, but I know that the current system isn't working for artists. And, uh, but the key thing is, how do artists drive traffic? I mean, I could release, I've just recorded an album with, with a lot of famous singers that I can't get a uh, traditional record company to release in any significant way and agree to market properly because sales are so low. Um, I, want to, I want people to think about the real world, not the theoretical world of lawyers and, and copyright agreements and treaties, but to think about, I'm here to represent these artists, the, to the people who don't get to speak in fantastic places like this and don't have lobbying uh, capabilities and don't get to talk to uh, commissioners for the European Parliament, uh, which I have been very fortunate to do. I spoke to a vice commissioner of the European Parliament who, who said in 25 years he'd never met an artist, which is incredible. And I think, you know, there's a lot that, I mean, I'm not saying I'm representing everyone here. My views are probably slightly left of center uh, for a lot of artists. But um, I, I believe that we have to acknowledge the reality of the situation and that we have to move forward and try and find a way that the average um, creator and artist can actually be compensated for their work.